So as we showed you in a previous video, the boat that we thought was the one for us turned out to be a huge disaster with a lot of issues. So we ran for the hills. And as we left, sad to think that we would not be able to start cruising anytime soon. I had a light bulb moment. And I thought we are in Greece with infinite amount of boats and marinas. So why not try and look and see if there were any available to view. With a stroke of luck, we found one on the other side of Greece. A 10 hour drive from Kavala to Poros, we finally arrived to our destination. Welcome back to Sailing Voyager. So, Plan B is underway. We drove all the way down from Kavala to um, Poros yesterday, which was around, all in all, it was an eight and a half hour drive, but it took us about 10 hours because we did a few stops. And we're now at the yard looking at another um, 54DS. Hopefully this one will be the right one. Aesthetically, it needs quite a bit of work, but, um, if, that, if that's all that is, it's not a problem. Let's take a quick look. This is it. Hi, Ben. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> okay. Just checking out this boat. I'm gonna look at it. Yeah. So this is plan B. This is plan B. Plan B. Plan A turned to shit. Yeah. <laughs> so this is plan B. It comes with a whisker bowl. That's a good start. So this is a 2003. So, right, basically what happened when we are on the way back from seeing the first disaster, Hibber decided to take a look online to see if there was any others. And this thing popped up. So it's been here for two years. So it was owned by a Swedish couple that... Um, then couldn't sell it, uh, sail it because of COVID. So it's been here for two years on the hard. And so aesthetically, it needs work. Yeah. So it needs a bit of a scrub up. Probably needs repainting. Um, we're going to take a look inside. Eric, who's at, so Eric is a skipper. He's like circumnavigated twice, and he's half circumnavigated in this boat. He took it to Thailand, then brought it, brought it back from Thailand the other way around. Um, so he's done quite a few miles in it. Um, so yeah, it needs. Mostly cosmetic work, really. It needs new sails, cosmetic work, um, new anti-foul, respray. I don't think that will um, buff out by the looks of it. No, I think it needs a respray. You can see where they've tried to patch it up in a few places. Yeah. So, respray, new sails. Um, yeah, we'll find out in a bit. But looks promising. That part looks safe <laughs> which means it's better than the last one already right the key doesn't look like it's snapped into anything which is a good start bit of a wiggle the teak looks like it's in good condition <laughs> well the teak's all new so it had a new teak deck put on in like 2016, actually by Geno. So yeah, the teak's in great condition. The deck is in good condition. Original mast, obviously. But yeah, so it's had new rigging. Um, so new teak basically needs varnishing inside. Mm -hmm. Structurally, everything's fine? Yeah, structurally it looks fine, yeah. But yeah, you can take a look inside. Like, it looks great, it just needs like... TLC. TLC. There's no way to get in the asking price for it. Right, okay. Like it's started to peel away. Like, see there. So yeah, it just needs like quite a bit of time spending on it. Cool. I mean, we did 
we did figure this out that yes this is cheaper but it's been on the hard for two years so it's gonna need more work but as long as it's yeah, as long as it's reflected in the price it's fine yeah and as long as it doesn't have any problems structurally like the other one Hello. Oh, no. <laughs> this is Eric. <laughs> As you can see, this boat has been more or less abandoned. Staying on the heart for two years without any care, without any love. It needs a lot of TLC. A little bit of a shock because we were trying to avoid getting a project boat. Yeah, but here we are with a project boat. It looks like mostly aesthetic work and maybe some upgrades here and there, but we will see. I think Andrew is going to have his hands full. However, when you're looking for a boat to actually live on, to make into a home, you have to take a lot of things into consideration. Livability comes first, of course. First of all, we wanted something much bigger to cruise on comfortably. Yeah, it's just a massive list of tiny little bits. What do you think? Needs a lot of work. Needs All the handles hands. near need changing because they don't work properly. Uh, the toilets needs probably ripping out some of them. A couple of them don't even have the tops on. Um, yeah, they got, they got those. Not even electric, are they? Even like acoustic. No, they're the, the, the plunger yeah. one. Yeah. Um, acoustic, <laughs> acoustic. You know manual <laughs> let's just go manual and um, yeah there's a lot of mold on all the um, upholstery yeah. so like everything uh, all the curtains have mold on them yeah, when I, when um, I came to this boat in Thailand there was, there was mold on the walls and yeah yeah it ju just needs well, you have a look at the uh, end, of, end of the keel yeah yeah it's it's similar, that hasn't been see there's any little cracks no, there yeah, your turn, Biff. There's Hibber. <laughs> Living boat life. Yeah, I don't know. Um... Oh. Yeah. So, we have a boat. We have a second boat. <laughs> <laughs> we have another yeah, boat. Yeah, we do. We have uh, another boat. We went to this other part of the island that we're on uh, to view the 54DS that we're magic. Not on an island, we're in the mainland. Are we now? Yeah, that's an island. We're in um, tomato, tomato. Oh. Yeah, the boat that we just saw, it, that's been on the hard for like three years. It's basically abandoned, but it's got like brand new teak deck, brand new rigging, new navigation equipment, engine started perfect, yeah. generator started perfect. Just the inside needs a bit of work. Like, it needs a lot of work. A lot, actually. Of, <laughs> a lot of sanding. So we've now got a project boat. <laughs> <laughs> but, Which we were not actually planning on having. No. We were not planning on having like a major work project, uh, but we're gonna end up having to do that now. Well, I we mean me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not we, me. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so yeah, long story short, it's 50 grand cheaper. So it's like quite a lot cheaper. And I think 50 grand cheaper and I'll probably have to spend like a month to two months sanding. And put that money back into it to make it perfect. Got a noose, a bit. Come here, Noose. Come here, Noose. What do you think of it, Noose? 
Jones. He just did the stinkiest no. shit ever. It was so actually last night was pretty stinky. I don't I don't think people need to know this. Huh? <laughs> Possibly we've now got a project though, which I'm gonna have to spend like two months varnishing. It's little bits, it's like door handles yeah. and you know light fixtures have just yeah. got a bit of rust on and that type of stuff, but No 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 <gasps> He just threw a nappy full of shit over the balcony. <laughs> Is there anyone down there? So it's not burst. <laughs> not another one! No, 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 no! Stop it! <laughs> Put it down! Our kid's probably going to start throwing furniture or himself and do something in a minute over the balcony, so uh, that's it. Bye! <laughs>